Today we got some strawberries and these goats down here are gonna have them. Got a new idea, right? Basically, they're being fussy and we're eating all things. So, we've got our pen knife, and uh, the problem is, I think they're just too big for them to go in the mouth. So, we've got our, our knife here, we're just going to chop it up, basically. Problem, oh, Henry, Henry. But the problem is, ugh. the problem is Oscar doesn't like it, and Henry does. So uh, Henry's gonna eat all of them. Oh, chill, man. Yeah, you don't give up, do you, man? You don't give up. Stop trying to bite my fingers. Oi, oi, oi! Get down! Full of flipping rage. because watching through that you could see that Henry like that loved the strawberries I won't lie he loved the strawberries but Oscar over there he, you can't see him obviously but he's over there he did not like them at all he was um a bit weird because um they both like the apples a lot and they like pears as well but only Henry likes strawberries which is quite interesting because you would think goats just like eat anything so uh, that's quite funny to be honest I'm a bit confused but I'm not gonna I'm not gonna push it because if Oscar doesn't like them he doesn't like them one thing I thought I'd let you know at the end of this video is if you saw like a previous video of mine, it's on my channel in the goat place, whatever, the goats have, have fleas, have lice, and we have been dealing with them there. We were getting rid of them and then they all kind of come back again. But what we've been doing, we've been using that sort of like powdery stuff. I don't exactly know what it's called, but you know, it's the right sort of thing. You cover the, the goats in it, cover their bedding and all that stuff with it. And it's good, it got rid of it. They're all quite gone. And then the last few days it's been coming back worse on Oscar than it has on Henry. So we're gonna obviously keep doing the, the the lice treatment until they're gone because we obviously don't want them for our goats because it makes them really uncomfortable and itchy and all that sort of stuff which is really unpleasant to be honest one thing i thought i'd let you know i sound really bunged up and unwell it's because of hay fever i never normally have hay fever but all of a sudden i've got it don't i henry but to be honest though if you look at the grass it is so long and little oscar over there he can he can barely walk around and see over it so whenever i call him he always is like leaping around which is really funny so obviously as you know this is the goat field you got their shed which i want to replace that this year don't worry, they have pushed it, so I'm going to push it back, obviously. But I want to replace that this year and get something a bit bigger for them. Because it was really good for them, but if I want to get more goats in the future, which I do, obviously we need a bigger shed and it's better for these two. But uh, we're in the back corner, kind of got all the horses over there. The donkeys are like over there somewhere. But look, the grass is so flipping long. And the same in this field. It's not as long out there, obviously, but oh, it's crazy. The goats do like it. Obviously, they don't eat much grass. They just go for eating all the little, the shrubs and bushes and stuff. But they're keeping it down, that's the thing. It has grown quite a lot, obviously. But it's at like a, a level now, and it's not got really much taller for about a few weeks now. So, come on, Oscar. So that's good, I guess. But uh, we're not going to have it cut. I don't, I don't think that's really going to happen. Because last year, around this time, sort of last year, I'll see if I can get some clips of um, after it was done. The whole, the tractor came in cut down all the grass and made it, made it all nice and flat and it was all very easy but the problem was when we did that last year we didn't have the big climbing frame we didn't have all this stuff 
So we just took that out, locked the goats in the shed and moved on. But the problem is this year, um, firstly, there's the massive climbing frame. We can't move it this time. And Henry and Oscar, Henry hates being in the shed, like literally hates being in the shed. If you shut the door, he'll go in quietly, go to sleep. But if you shut the door on him while he's in there, he will literally punch, well, well headbutt the door down. He is crazy. He'll just keep bashing against it. And I've got videos of him when he was in there um, a few months ago. And um, he literally just bashed. He was pushing the shed because he was hitting it so hard. So I'm not going to shut them in there because I really don't want to be shut in. Um, so yeah, we're going to be leaving it along, which hopefully, eventually, <laughs> eventually they'll eat it all down. And um, it should be good by the winter. But I would like to get some more goats, I think. Definitely at least two females. I think pygmy goats are the way to go, just for now, because we've got Henry and Oscar. But um, it has been in the back of my mind. <laughs> Something a bit different. I don't know. I don't know if I want to get... Um, well, yeah, I want. To, I think I will just get more pygmy goats because we've got Henry and Oscar. They're easy, they're small, very easy to take care of, not that expensive to feed and all that sort of stuff. But um, I have been thinking, pygmy goats are just so difficult. As in, they've got their personalities are great, but Henry and Oscar are just always causing a problem and uh, just just can be annoying all the time. Like now, like, like now, look, look at him. He's just being annoying. So I'm thinking. The, um, because in the UK we don't have that many sort of varieties of goat on the easy, easy access. We've got like pygmy goats, which are very easy. We've got boar goats, they can easily get to, but they're very parasite, um, well, they can easily get parasites, which is a bit, a bit of a shame, to be honest, because the boar goats do look quite cool, especially the big, the big billy goats. Um, and then we've also got Anglo-Nubian goats, which I think I'll probably go for because it's a really cool patterned ones that I've been I've been looking at. They're really really cool, like black and white spots and all sorts of cool patterns, which is right really what I would want from those sort of goats. We've also got sort of just dairy goats, but we're not doing dairy goats because because I don't really like them. They don't look very cool to me. I don't like the big others. And I'm not going to use the milk for anything anyway. So that's kind of the idea. So that's kind of what we're working with at the moment. I mean, Kiko goats would be so cool. Little Henry, little Henry of his friend, the Kiko goat, that'd be cool. But you can't get Kiko goats in this country. Well, you probably could, but I haven't, I've been looking around online and people that sell them or have them available. I can't find anything in this country because obviously they're goats from New Zealand, but um, they're very common in America and people like, oh, I'm sorry, Homestead, Hidden Heights Farm. We've also got um, um, Survivor Sanctuary, they all have. Um, Kiko, well, I don't know about I'm Survivor Sanctuary, but a lot of them have Kiko goats or mixture. Some are Kiko cross Spanish, cross boar, that sort of thing. But oh yeah, we do also have Spanish goats available as well in this country. So that's kind of what we're working with. So I'm going to keep you updated, obviously, because goats are pretty cool. I'm not going to go out and just spend loads of money on some goats for this field, because I mean, it's, it's a small field anyway. I'm not going to go out and spend a load of money on a load of goats. Because I don't, I don't need loads of goats. It's just a future idea, future plan. So yeah, just to end off the video, I wanted to say thank you for watching. Do like and subscribe if you have enjoyed. Because, uh, you know, also it's pretty lovely. Henry is pretty lovely as well. You can see he's itching his foot, you see. That's the problem. Uh, we did, yeah, basically, the fleas, lice, whatever you want to call them, are back. They're not as that itchy. Well, yeah, yeah. They're not as itchy as they were. They just still are itchy. So that's kind of that for today's video thank you for watching hope you've enjoyed and kind of listened to me ramble and like in the the goats eating the strawberries do subscribe if you have enjoyed that so uh yeah thank you for watching and i'll catch you guys in the next one